Good morning, Marley. How are you? All right, time to ship out all these orders. I really don't feel like loading up the car, but... I'm home, guys. I went and shipped all of my orders. Stopped at the Dollar Tree. And um, picked up some things that I needed. You guys, look at my hair. I washed in deep condition last night. It's so soft and shiny. I love it. I got these flowers from the dollar store because I want to put them in my hair and take like cute pictures. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a lot more frequently on Instagram now. Anyways, yeah, I thought I'd put on a face and take some cute pictures. Maybe record a video, you guys. I actually got an Instagram message from a tonette after I posted my divor divorce story video. And um, she asked me for advice. Her story is similar to mine, a little bit different, but juicy nonetheless. So I asked her if I could use her letter as a video topic, of course, keeping her anonymous. And she said yes. So hello, new segment. Thank you to that tonette for um, allowing or tr for trusting me enough to share her story with me and also ask for advice like I do not take that lightly you know I appreciate it because obviously you guys pour into my channel and I pour into you guys and it's like a give and take and I really appreciate it so I think I might actually do that now okay I'm not done yet I have my foundation on though if you can tell I've just been catching up on vlogs you guys and I just want to give a shout out okay do you guys know who Ashik1118 is this is her channel she actually changed her name to Keisha G, but I still call her Ashik 1118 because Ashik 1118 is the the name or character that I fell in love with, right? So I am absolutely obsessed with Ashik 1118. Um, she's one of those people that I wish I could love in real life. I love her to the extent that I can through, you know, our parasocial relationship. I mean, we've hung out multiple times. I've met her. We've gone to two, I think we went to two Afro punks together. Um, we've walked all over the city, like we've gone shopping together. Um, I know I had an Airbnb one time in Brooklyn. I'm pretty sure she crashed at the Airbnb one night. Like, I'm telling you, if we were both Brooklyn girls or both Toronto girls, we'd be like real life besties. You know, my love languages are acts of service and gift giving. So when I'm out and about in my normal days, like I think about her often, like if I see something or if I think of something that I would wish I could do for her if I was there, like I, I think about her in my daily life, right? But because I can't love her in person, I just want to give a shout out to Kalia, who is her real life friend, also from New York or New Jersey, I think. And I just want to say I appreciate you for being such a great friend to my friend who I can't love in real life. So I appreciate you loving her the way I think that I would love her in real life. Do you know what I mean? So, thank you for being a friend. Ooh, travel down the road and back again. Are you done? Also, I'm still catching up on her vlogs, but I think she mentioned you just had a baby girl, so congratulations. And um, I can't wait to see you ladies, hopefully summer 2023 maybe listen the pandemic just threw a whole wrench in all my plans i had a whole you know vision of doing the rounds visiting all my girls keisha in new york and valencia in florida and gabe in indiana and you know just making the rounds so excited to see what next year brings especially now that i'm divorced girl we can go look man pan road now okay Look number one, Gabe wig. You guys, I put lashes on. I struggled. I struggled, girl. You know I'm not really a lash girl like that, but I'm trying. Look number two. This is the BAF wig. Cute. Look number 
three, trois, troisième, tres. I'm getting hungry and tired, so I think I'm gonna take a break, get something to eat, and then come back and record a little bit more content. I already knew YouTube was time consuming, but like now that I'm actually trying on Instagram, girl, it takes so much time. And I don't even really know why I'm trying because I'm pretty sure you can't monetize like in Canada yet on Instagram. So not really getting much out of it, but hey, they say diversify your social media portfolio. So that's what I'm doing. You guys, I wish my real hair was like this. It's so gorgeous. This is the BAF wig, by the way, in 1B33. So I took a break to make dinner. I don't know if you guys remember those chicken quarters that I got on sale. It was like a dollar a leg. Got three of them for three dollars. So this is gonna be a three dollar meal. I'm going to bake them. And I just put some potatoes and sweet potatoes in there with all the seasoning. It's gonna be yummy. Dinner is done. Here's how my $3 meal turned out, jerk chicken. There we go, some cauliflower rice, jerk chicken with potatoes and sweet potatoes. And then I made a little salad, kind of a smorgasbord salad. It's got lettuce, cabbage, um, carrots, tomatoes, and peppers, and purple cabbage. Yum, right? I already started making my plate. So, about to eat that. Well, three dollar meal or whatever. Marley is waiting patiently. You're such a good girl. Oh my goodness, the tail wag. You're such a good girl waiting patiently for dinner. Out of the kitchen because she's not allowed in the kitchen, guys. She's a black dog. Not allowed in the kitchen. Not allowed on the furniture. Not allowed on the bed. Not allowed to kiss my face. She black. Good morning guys, happy Thursday I believe it is. Yeah, happy Thursday. I am desperately trying to finish this candle. It's my Dutch tulip candle because I really wanna start a new one. So we're gonna light this today. Try to burn it all. I don't know if you guys have seen this pop up at all on your timeline, but it kept popping up on mine. I finally folded and bought it, it is a foldable mobile phone holder and it is designed for it is designed for shooting social media content um and it's pretty heavy it's way heavier than i thought it was going to be but i'm excited to try it out i bought it on amazon so so let's try this out today because i do plan on filming some content a little bit of hair content for tiktok Oh, very cool, guys. Okay, here she is. You guys, I think it's perfect. This is gonna be great for lives, like my Instagram lives, my YouTube lives, because this folds um, the other way as well. It's got a light on both sides. And um, today will be my first time trying it out, but so far, I think I like the functionality of it. So I'm excited to try it out. All right, guys, today, I have a hair appointment. I'm getting my hair done. Um, I feel like I always get my hair done a week before my birthday. My birthday's next week, guys. So that's what I'm doing. I have an appointment with Hair by Half. And we're about to get started, so. All right, it feels really soft. It's detangled and I am ready to get started. Last year I had pink hair for my birthday this year. I'm going red. It's, I've done red before, but this is actually a color that I've never tried before. I'll show you the color code. It's by Expressions and the color is 130S. Hey guys, it's definitely the next day if you couldn't tell. And look, my hair is done. I'm obsessed. 
obsessed with it. I'm a, I'm a ginger. So yeah, my hair is done and girl, I went and got my nails did. Can you guys see that? It's not cute. It's really bright outside, so maybe the light's not picking it up, but I'll show you guys later. Or if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have probably already seen my new nails as well. I'm jumping on the highway, going to run errands. My first stop is shipping off these orders. Shout out to everybody who shop TonyDaily.com. First stop complete, check mark. My next stop is a house that I'm going to, a townhouse that I staged last month. I'm going to de-stage today. So that's why I wanted to get all of the packages off first. So I have a nice empty trunk. I can put all my staging stuff in it. I got these really amazing, they're like huge rectangular, um, if they're vinyl it's like recycled plastic or vinyl storage bags and um, they are so perfect for like all my staging gear I can carry all my stuff easily so I have them all packed up in the trunk I'm gonna show you guys um, once I get there but yeah I found them on Amazon and I love them I'll link them down below in case any of you guys need to carry like a lot of things they're good for like moving and packing and stuff like that so it just makes it really easy for storage and all that stuff and they're waterproof or water resistant so yeah i love them okay here i am at the property um the clients have already moved out so it's pretty much empty but i still have my staging stuff here it's a cute little townhome. I love it. I actually looked at one of these units when I was house hunting myself. Okay, these are the storage bags I was talking about. Um, yeah, I don't know what this material is. Maybe recycled plastic or something like that, but they come with straps and it zips all the way around and they hold a lot. So they're perfect. And then I can just store it like I can store it like this in my garage or in my basement, whatever. So anyways, as you can see, I'm just packing up, almost ready to go. It's much later in the day. Marley has been following me around since I got home. I don't know why. She won't leave me alone. Anyways, guys, as you can see in the, in the background, I have not changed the chalkboard and clearly it's not love month or valentine's day month anymore so let's do it this will be our project this evening we're going to be changing the board up um it is march now which is my birthday month and keisha's birthday month and it's also my oldest sister's birthday month one of my nephew's birthday month my besties birthday month so we're all about team pisces over here let's do it got my chalk um i'm not really sure what we're gonna do today but like it's gonna be pisces theme definitely so we're just gonna, we're just gonna freestyle it, freestyle it. Okay, so we're gonna do a Pisces board. You know, the Pisces symbol is, is the Pisces symbol two fish or one fish? Pisces? I'm pretty sure it's two and it goes this way. Right? Opposite ways, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's- the same time last year. <laughs> Did we? Yeah, you got oh. the same Pisces. I'm pretty sure it's like fish going in the opposite direction. So let's just try to, let's just try to make something. So I'm gonna make a fish up here kind of make like a little you kind of make like a ham you know what a ham looks like does that look like a ham <laughs> that's how i draw fish then you put a mustache on the ham and then you put a shark fin on the ham and then you put a little flipper on the ham Ta-da! A fish! So let's turn this around. Turn around. 
every now and then I get a little bit. And we're gonna try to do another one, the same type of thing. Ta-da, two fish. So then we're gonna do like, kind of make it like a circle. Okay, so we're gonna put the, um, the what do you call it? The symbol up here, which the symbol just looks like two backwards brackets with a line. Put some stars for the constellation around the fish symbol. Grab those boards. Jeez Louise, grab those boards. Half is watching basketball if you hear yelling in the background. Ta-da! I changed my mind. I decided I wanted both of our names up there for the month of March. That way I don't have to take it back down and do it over. But you guys, I'm kind of high-key obsessed with my board. It's mad cute. I think I might add one more star down here. And then I'll be done. As you guys can tell, I actually love having a chalkboard. And I made this myself, guys. I actually purchased a very large picture frame from um, Michael's and um, some paint chalk and I made it myself because I couldn't find one that fit the space perfectly but these 24 by 36 frames are always so easy to find. I'll try to remember what vlog I did my DIY in and um, link it in the cards but anyways all that to say I love my chalkboard. That was my mission or goal for the night. Um, it is 8 p.m. I'm gonna actually cook dinner while we watch the Raptors. Okay, so what are we cooking for dinner tonight? I took this ground beef out the freezer and um, we're gonna cook that up and turn it into chili. There go my veggies. About to put my ground beef in the pan. All right, let's get the veggies on. 